We're now going to define the integral of a vector field over a surface. So let S be an oriented surface. And the fact that S is oriented means that it has a chosen unit normal vector at each point. And let F be a vector field which is defined, it's a three-dimensional vector field defined on a domain that includes S. And then we define the double integral over S of F dot dS. So this is the integral of the vector field F over the surface. So this is going to be the double integral over S of the dot product of f with the normal vector with respect to surface area. Okay, so in these formulas, so this is a vector field, well once I dot product it with the normal vector, this is a function, and this is the element of surface area. Okay, so that's the that's the definition. Um, the physical interpretation is that the double integral over S of F dot dS is the flux of F through S. So flux means sort of how much the vector field is flowing through um, S. So for example, suppose I have suppose I have a river here. This is a three-dimensional river, so it's got some depth to it. Okay? And water water is flowing down this river. So here's the vector field, which tells me the um, velocity of the fluid flow at each point. Alright, so we have some water going down the river. And, you know, if you like rafting on rivers, you look up the river information, it'll tell you what's the flow of the river. So maybe it'll say there's a, a thousand cubic feet of water per second flowing down the river. And well, how would you measure that? Well, you could take a, you could take a surface which goes all the way, I mean, to imagine this, I can't really draw this very well, but imagine this surface is sort of starting at the top of the river and going all the way down to the bottom of the river. Um, so here's a surface, and we could say at what rate is water passing the surface? Um, let's assume that the this vector field is, is the same at all time. Okay, and then the well, the the rate at which water is flowing through the surface, that's the that's the flux. So at each point in the surface, you're taking, I mean we have to orient this sort of down pointing downstream. So each so this is my normal vector, it's pointing downstream. And at each point in the surface, I'm taking the normal vector, which is pointing downstream, and dot producting it with the velocity of the water. And that's going to tell me sort of at what rate water is passing through the surface at that point. And then I integrate over the surface, and that gives me the total flow of water through the surface, or, or flux. So that's the idea of what this means. Okay. Now, this depends on an orientation of S. So this, so the double integral over S of f dot dS depends on the orientation. And why is that? Well, the opposite orientation. would be you take the unit normal vector at each point and replace it with minus that vector. Okay? Now if you replace n by minus n, then you're going to put a minus sign in this formula. So the double integral over s of f dot minus n, so there's a minus sign here, ds, 
this minus the double integral over s of f dot n to s. Because if you put a minus sign in front of a vector that that multiplies the dot product by minus one. Okay? Or we could also think of this equation as saying that the double if we think of s as having an orientation, then if we switch the orientation we could write that as minus s. So the double integral over minus s of f dot ds is uh, minus the double integral over s of f dot ds. In our river example, if um, our orientation is pointing downstream, then this flux is going to be positive. Um, and if our um, orientation is pointing upstream, then the flux will be negative. So that's the that's the definition of the integral of a vector field over a surface. Now, how do you compute this? Well, you need an orientation. You need a parameterization. So you can, well, let's first note that if you have a parameterization, and let's say it's a smooth parameterization, which means, recall, that ru cross rv is never 0 then this determines an orientation. Because remember that ru cross rv is normal to the tangent plane. So in particular, this is a normal vector to the surface. So I can make an orientation just by normalizing this to have length 1. So I could take my orientation to be n equals ru cross rv divided by the length of ru cross rv. And this is well defined by our assumption that ru cross rv is never zero. Okay, so here are the steps. Oh, okay, okay, well, so let's say we um, use this orientation. So with this orientation, the double integral over s of f dot ds is the double integral over s of f dot um, ru cross rv over the length of ru cross rv with respect to surface area. Now how do we evaluate integral with respect to surface area? Well, we use the parameterization. I need a name for the domain here. So let's call the domain D in the UV plane. Okay, so then this is the double integral over U, excuse me, over, over D of F dot RU cross RV over ru cross rv. And then I have to multiply by the magnification factor, which is the length of ru cross rv, dA. And now these cancel out. So this length of ru cross rv cancels that length of ru cross rv. And I get the double integral over d of f dot ru cross rv dA. Okay, so now there, there are three steps to um, calculating this integral. So the three steps are the three steps to compute so first you, you choose a smooth parameterization And second, you need to check that you get the right orientation, to check that the orientation is correct.
Otherwise, you're going to get minus the correct answer when you evaluate the integral. Uh, and then third, once you have this um, smooth parameterization giving the correct orientation, then you just evaluate this integral over the, the domain, which is this integral right here. So that's how you that's how you compute this. We'll do an example in the next lecture segment.